But I, I want to go back to what uh, something Ms. Smith said a minute ago, because it would, one of the comments that he talked about was he was passed over despite scoring number one on the police chief's exam. Well, I submit to you that that was wrong. And it would be just as wrong to, sub, to pass over someone who scored number one today on a police chief's exam for exactly the same reason, because he doesn't happen to be the right skin color. For those examples are few and far between. The fact of the matter, affirmative action starts from a qualifications neutral position, that both candidates are equally qualified, and that race is one of the factors that's used in making the decision in terms of hiring, promotion, the letting of contracts. This notion that unqualified blacks are somehow getting a position ahead of a qualified white is nonsense. It doesn't happen. Well, whoever said One of the unqualified, the fact of the matter is, is if you're equally qualified with somebody, by what right do you, cho do you choose on the basis of race? Well, what, if what we decision, did it the other way, it would be... What decision-making process do you yeah. use I have when, you have, when you have institutions that have a history of excluding people of color? race becomes an important consideration because the goal of affirmative action is to create a workforce that's diverse, a workforce that resembles our society, and a workforce where people from different backgrounds can contribute. All right, this but Assemblyman, ties. Asse Assemblyman <coughs> Carroll has a, a good point here. There is, to some degree, a double standard. We see Al Sharpton defending Tawana Brawley. We find out later it was a hoax. We see people like Farrakhan spewing anti-Semitic uh, uh, Semitic, uh, comments. I mean, is there a double standard? No, you, no, no, wait a minute. When we talk about Farrakhan, we talk about uh, uh, the Joanna Raleigh case. These are individuals that don't represent the total black community. You have to understand that. You know, uh, it's, a, it's a funny thing that uh, among the other, the white the community, anything a black does is, is paintbrushed for the whole black community. It's just like I'm a Republican like, uh, like my colleague here is, but I'm opposed to his bill. And I'm going to fight like hell to see that the bill doesn't pass or didn't even get out of committee. But, but the real difference here is that if you want to raise a Farrakhan, if you want to raise a Sharp, then the difference is one of power and leverage. Those two individuals do not control a multi-billion dollar corporation. They are not making decisions every day that affect the lives of hundreds of thousands of employees. They do not manufacture products that are put in the stream of commerce in the United States. That's the difference. You have individuals who have power, who are controlling institutional mechanisms over the lives of many people who are racist, who are biased, mm -hmm. and who bring that bias into the workplace. Okay,